So here's the backstory. I'm at a Christmas party. Somebody walks up to me and says, hey guy, do you think that you could possibly build a table with a TV inside of it? I was shook. Not because it was an absurd idea, but why didn't I never think about that myself? I mean, that's like better than a double-decker couch, right? So I thought, I've never done that before. Challenge accepted. I think I could do that. So I give you the table with a TV. It's a 65-inch TV. And uh, what would you need it for? Not really sure. As a matter of fact, um, went online, started doing some research, and it turns out that this is an actual thing. You can find tables with TVs inside of them. Uh, curious to see what you would possibly use it for. The folks that asked me to build it, uh, they wanted to use it for gaming. So it's going to be like an interactive game board of some type. Um, but if you're watching this video and you have a similar plan or you're looking to build a table, please leave a comment. Tell me what is it that you're planning to do with it because I would love to know. But anyhow, this video I will teach you how to build a table with a TV in it. Now I have a 65 inch TV. Yours might be different in size, uh, but I will take you through a process where I show you how to measure the wood in comparison to the television set. I'm not going to give you actual measurements. I'm going to very simple, very basic, no math required technique on how to build a table around your television. So um, let's take a look at the required materials and then let's take a look at how it's done. So for this project I used nine two by fours, two two by sixes, one pound of three inch screws. To cover the TV you'll need a 36 by 72 inch piece of plexiglass and the good news is that the guys at the store will probably cut it for you for free. To allow the legs to be removable you'll also need eight four inch bolts. Now depending on your situation, you'll probably need a couple of odds and ends as well, bringing the grand total to about $165. But note, this is the price for my project with a 65 inch television. So first thing, we're not picnicking or sunbathing out here. Uh, this is gonna be some towels laid down so that I can lay the TV down its face and the towels so I don't scratch it. So we're going to build the table around the TV to keep it simple. We're going to start by measuring out the outer frame. Now you could take a measuring tape and you could actually measure the surface or the, the side of the television. We're going to keep it simple. So I'm really going to take a piece of wood, lay it on the side of the television here, leave myself enough room for a 45 degree cut. I'm just going to draw lines like this. Right there. Right there. Now we're not going to want the TV to be like so snug we got to force it in. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut on the very outside of the markings I just make. And that's going to give me enough wiggle room, probably about an eighth of an inch or so, so that we can get the television in and out of the table if we need to. So now that I got the first cut done, I'm going to go ahead and check it. And like I said, we want a little bit of space on either side here so that it's not a snug fit. Now it's going to be pretty tight, but we don't want it to be something we have to force in there. So now we can use this side here to make a template for the other side so we can cut the opposite side of the frame. Okay, so we framed either side. Now we're going to frame the top and the bottom. Okay, so we're framed. So what we're going to do now is take the TV out of here so that we don't mess it up with the sawdust. For the most part, we have our dimensions down. Now we're going to build a box for the bottom of the table and then the supports that are going to hold the TV in place and when we get to that step we'll bring the TV back in. So to frame the corners at 45 degrees we're going to use three inch screws essentially they're going to go like this and, and this isn't a weight bearing surface so we don't have to have a huge amount of reinforcement. Now to keep the joint clean though we are going to use a lot of wood glue and what that's going to do is it's going to press up in the seam it's going to give me an area to sand. So we'll start with the wood glue and we're going to apply a ridiculous amount.
like this. And it's okay because it's going to squeeze out of the edges. Okay, now we're going to join it together. And the way that it's squeezing out is exactly what we want it to do, just like this. Now we're going to use a countersink bit. And that's so that the screw sits flush inside that hole. Okay, I don't want the joint to move on me, so I'm going to add a clamp just to kind of hold it lined up, aligned. Okay, do another countersink for the next bit, next screw. Now we can add the screw. There we go. Now we're gonna repeat on all four corners. So now that the frame is built out and glued, um, I went ahead and did another fit. You just wanna make sure that the monitor or the TV fits in here. There's a tiny bit of a gap, like tiny. And that's just so that it doesn't get wedged in there. It makes it easy to put in and take it back out. But now that I know for sure it's a good fit, I'm gonna go ahead and start framing out the bottom of the table. And just like I did before, we're going to keep it low tech. I'm just going to take this piece of wood. We're going to frame it on the outer edge over here. It's going to match that up. We're going to mark our cut over here. And then we're going to use this as a template for the other side. So here's the first cut. And it's going to be on the outer edge like this. It's going to match up with the outside border. Okay, and we're going to repeat like on this side too. All right, so at this point, all the frame for the bottom of the table is built. So I'm gonna go ahead and line it up again. Like this. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take screws and I'm going to screw it down from the top. Now, the screw is shorter than the wood, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a drill bit and I'm going to drill a countersink about an inch and a half deep where this tape is at right here. And then once that's countersunk in, then the drill, the screw will go in, give me about an inch of bite into the two by four in there. So we're going to put several across all the way down and then we're going to bolt them in. I'm going to start with a smaller piece here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So this bit is going to go in about that deep. The screws are three inches long, so that's about two inches there, and it's about an inch that's going to be left over in the bottom that bites into the bottom of the frame. The goal is to keep the screws not visible from the top of the table. The other option would be to drill in from the top of the table, and it's going to look like crap. So here we go. And we're gonna do about three of these all the way across. One in the middle and then one on the side. Now the longer ones will probably get five. I'm just kind of winging it here. At this point, the frame is kind of dry fitted. I've been shaving off like a wafer at a time. Uh, and the goal is, is that we want like a tiny lip along the bottom here. 
like that much along the bottom of the table frame. It's just for aesthetics. It's not really a function, but just look a little bit better. So now that I've got it dry fitted, I've got the holes done, I'm gonna go ahead and start using my drill and put in some screws to start securing the frame. So now I've got it completely framed out. It's really heavy and sturdy. It's made out of two by fours. And, you know, when I was asked to make this table, I was asked to make a table that was cost effective uh, versus using furniture grade wood. So I'm using two by fours. You can sand it and stain it and make it look pretty. But anyways. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build a framework that's going to hold the TV in here. Essentially what I'm going to do is just take some pieces of wood and frame it out underneath. And uh, that's going to hold the TV like laying flat. Now, before I do that, I'm going to add another layer because I want it to be slightly below the tabletop. In other words, I don't want it to be right flush against, you know, wood can swell and shrink. Uh, we don't want it at worst where the television is actually higher than the tabletop. So we're going to put a little layer of something right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically lay this in here. And when I frame this out, this plywood's going to give me like that much uh, of, a, of a difference in distance there so that it's not overlapping. And you'll see what I mean when we put it in. All right, so in a nutshell, here's a plan. We're going to frame out the bottom of the table with these at an angle like this, right? And that's going to hold a TV in the tabletop when it's flipped. Now, to give me a little bit of, of a recess on the television screen, we're going to take this piece of wood here, very thin piece of plywood, we're going to set it on top of the television like this. And then we're going to place this guy, and it's going to give you a slight amount of recess so that it, it's not, it doesn't ever float over the tabletop. It'll always be below the tabletop, underneath the acrylic glass that we're going to put in. So once we got it placed, we're going to go ahead and countersink and put a screw in. Pull the wood out, one more repeat on the other corners. And we're going to repeat on all four corners. So at this point, we're pretty much done. I just got to add the legs now. Um, it's framed out, so it's just kind of like angles. It's not pretty. I've got long, long, short, short here. I have to be mindful of the HDMI ports that are on the side here. And also, I couldn't put a dead center. I wanted to have more, you know, more towards it. Anyways, it just works better to have it kind of odd shapes like this. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is pull the table off, get the TV out of here, install the legs, pull the table upside down, and then from there we can lay the, the TV down inside of it. So let's go to take this off. So for the legs, I wanted to get a little creative. I was thinking about putting one leg like this, and then putting another leg like this. Um, but if I, if, I, if I am able to alternate the leg angles, it'll give me more stability versus if they were all going, let's say, this way. Then it might want to wobble some. So I'm going to go ahead and, and try that. And if it, it turns out that it does wobble, we'll just move them. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, here we go. And since I'm underneath the table, I'm not going to countersink and make these pretty because these are not going to be visible to the normal humans. So I've got the leg here. And I've got a triangle so we can attempt to make sure that it's perfectly level when we do this. We can't have it wobbly. Here we go. And these screws are temporary because we're going to put the bolts in here pretty soon. So I've got this one. That one, and I'm going to repeat in the last, last two corners. Now that these legs are installed, we're going to move on to the next leg, which are these guys here. This is an add-on here. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to put them here, and we're essentially going to have 
a six inch run here and it, kind of like an L-shaped leg on all four sides. This is gonna provide additional support. Uh, so once I get these in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take some screws and bolt these together. And then once that's done, I'm gonna drill out uh, some holes down there so we can put some bolts in and that'll allow uh, the legs to come off and go back on. Uh, so you can get them in and out of the house. So you don't build a table that just sits in the garage for the rest of its life, right? So let me go and get that started. So in order to ensure that these legs are interchangeable with one another, which would be important uh, when you go to move this thing around, you don't wanna have to line up the table every single time or the legs with the right spot every time. We're gonna make them universal. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna go ahead and measure out rough and tough about four and a half inches. I'm gonna put a dot right here. And that's gonna be where the bolt's gonna go on this side. And we'll do the same on the other side here. Right there, I'm gonna put a dot right at the top of this. And that's gonna be, on all four corners, we're gonna have that bolt in that exact same spot. Now I'm gonna drill this out. I've got a 5 8 drill bit here that I'm gonna be using. And then I'm gonna be inserting these four inch bolts with these washers, one here and then one over here. And that's gonna secure the leg and then I'm gonna repeat this on all four legs. So now that that's cut through, we're gonna take these guys. Pull the one washer off. It's gonna insert here. And on the back side, we're gonna secure it over here. And then like I said, we repeat on all four corners, just like this. At this point, it's a good idea to go ahead and sand off all of the print and all of the raw edges before flipping the table over. Um, again, structurally done. Um, I did sand all the raw edges from underneath so it won't get any splinters when we lift it. Now I'm going to go and sand the top of it and the outer edges. So anywhere that there's any kind of print on it is going to be coming off. Again, I'm using 80 grit sandpaper so all of these holes will be sanded down. Uh, and then from there, we're going to go with finer and finer paper. At this point, it's time to go ahead and put the TV in and I got some help from my neighbor, Rick Ross. Luckily, it's a perfect fit, and it sits just below the surface. Now I can go ahead and place the acrylic cover that was cut exactly for the opening on the top of the table. Once again, it's a perfect fit. Acrylic tends to be really staticky, so go ahead and remove the sheet, and we're gonna wipe down the television and remove all of the sawdust before we put the sheet back on. So now that the TV is super clean, I put the acrylic panel back on and then peel off to protect the film. And boy, that is pretty. And just like that, we have a TV table. Surprised myself, it came out actually pretty good. I wonder if Benjamin's gonna share those donuts.